Hi Prakash, Daphne here. Lovely to hear from you. Hope you're doing okay. Um, and well done, keeping going, keeping writing is fantastic. Uh, let's have a look at this then. These days, <clears throat> excuse me, more fathers stay at home and take care of their children while mothers go out for work. What could be the reasons for this? And then is it a positive or negative development? So <clears throat> it's a really one of these classic IELTS questions, <clears throat> excuse me, where you have two questions inside the question. So first paragraph, we want to be on this one. What are the reasons? Yep. Second half, is it positive or negative development? Okay, so this is the organization that we're looking for. So the trend, trend of fathers looking after the homes and mothers working jobs is increasing, especially over the last decade. Now, watch out, watch out, watch out, because as soon as you've got a time indicator like this over the last decade, you have to have the present perfect. This is absolutely a kind of rule on grammar. So has been increasing. Okay, Really, really important. Watch out for that. You want to get the intro really strong so the examiner can see what you're doing here. Uh, you might put in here while mothers uh, pursue their careers. Yeah. I know it's not always a career. They might just be doing other kind of work, but we want to show language here. We want to show high level vocab. So the trend of fathers looking after the homes while mothers so are using the connecting word while mothers pursue their careers has been increasing, especially over the last decade. OK, that's fine. So you can use this with this, although some people believe it as adversity. OK, mm, not adversity. That wouldn't be the quite the wrong word. Um, some people believe it. You'd have to say to be um, unconventional. Yeah, or unusual. Oh, sorry. Or filled with adversity, you could have. You can't have as adversity like that. And then who would these people be? Who would these critics be? Although some critics, to the people who are against it, believe it to be unconventional. So, mm, that's not right. Yeah, uh, believe it to be unconventional. I strongly feel that it has many positive implications, like better emotional connection with children. Excellent. Really, really good. Love this. You're showing me what is good about it. So fantastic. Super good. Love that. Well done. And reduce mental health instances. Okay, good. Well done. The central reason for fathers becoming the homemaker is twofold. Okay. Um, firstly, uh, women may be working harder and studying better than men. Good. As a result. Uh, so... Women may be working harder and studying better than men. Be working harder and progressing in the workplace. You need a bit more here. It's not just they're working harder, it's the fact that maybe they're going up the ladder, they're earning more money, so therefore they can it makes more sense for them to work and the husband to stay at home and studying better. I wouldn't necessarily say studying better, but earning better. OK, you, you're yeah. OK, studying better than men in order to achieve qualifications. Or maybe shorter might be literally achieving higher qualifications than some men, not all men, obviously, but some men, okay? So we really need to make sure we keep this high level, okay? You're kind of getting near this band seven, but not quite, um, because we need to be thinking about this. Maybe working harder and studying better is fine, but let's push this vocab, achieving higher qualifications than some men. As a result, they could be better equipped with the knowledge required to work in some of the high paying jobs. Absolutely. You could go highest paying. You've got a superlative in there. Let's uh, push on that grammar as well. Okay. Secondly, some men might lack skills. I love the might. Very good. And the may is excellent. Lack the skills to do uh, jobs because of a lack of education. Watch out with lack of. Yeah. Don't repeat it. 
because of not completing. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's go because of failing to complete school. So think of how you could say it another way. Don't repeat yourself on the on the words there. Despite having provided with all basic, basic facilities, few men might not concentrate on education owing to distractions. Okay, despite having been provided, it's a passive provided with. Now, it's a passive because they're provided with it by someone. If you, if you, you don't have to write it, but if you know that it's by someone, despite having been provided with all the basic facilities, comma here, Few men. Now, a few means not very many. Do you mean a few? Watch out with few and a few. They're different. A few men might not concentrate on education. Okay. Owing to distractions such as sport and part-time jobs. Good. This could eliminate several occupational choices for men which demand university degrees or higher qualifications as a prerequisite. For example, recent research shows that about 30% of male parents are unemployed and happily looking after their children while their wives are working. So, uh, I think it's quite nice to get it all in the past tense, actually, were unemployed. It, it's, you're showing more kind of variety, but you must be consistent here. So showed, don't have a past tense there. And then were unemployed, were working. Uh, therefore, more and more fathers are willing to take care of children. Um, don't need to repeat that, because we know that, taking part of their children. Um, in this change of rules. Okay, fine. It's quite long that paragraph. Um, you could tighten up this little bit. Um, a few fewer words on that, but otherwise, it's a good argument though, so I like it. In addition, now, careful, make sure, now I want to know, now you've told me why, now I want to know, is it a positive or negative development? So we need to make sure we're showing this the examiner, yeah? Okay, um, so I would say maybe that sociologists, so the, the name of the people, argue this benefit, this, uh, sorry, this development is usually beneficial or usually positive. Okay, so I'm signposting to the examiner very clearly. Okay, now I'm going to answer the second part of the question. Okay, really make sure I can see the structure in here. So, um, and then, and then you might have because although children are closer to their mothers, uh, with mothers working, you wouldn't use however. If you started with although. So if you started with, forget in addition, if you started with although, although you should children close to their mothers, but uh, um, youngsters could really get to spend their time, yes, could really get to, mm, I wouldn't, it's a bit too informal, could uh, spend, you spend uh, valuable, relevant and and productive time with their fathers. So let's boost the vocab here because for this band seven we need to push on the vocab, show we've got this lovely range of language. Um, this might improve, so it really is too informal, <clears throat> this might improve the mental health of men who have historically undergone past participle, undergone immense amounts of stress due to working extra hours. For instance, the government of Finland reduced the number of working days in a week to four, which you don't need to repeat four days, just to four, which resulted in fewer, we'd have to say fewer mental health issues. Therefore, husbands who were overstressed seem to switch positions with their wives at home, seemed to benefit from this switch in positions, you'd have to say. 
Yes, yeah, so it's a positive development on mental health <clears throat> um, and on the relationship between the children and the parents. Lovely. In conclusion, I strongly believe that married men increasingly show interest in managing children at homes um, is, a positive, is a positive development. In the future, it is predicted this trend is expected to grow. Really, really nice. Good essay there. That feels quite long to me. How are you on time on that one? Yeah, 429 is too long, okay? So you need to cut this bit down. Go through it again, maybe. And I think you can shorten your conclusion. Okay, so just training for you. Edit down to 370. Okay, what would you take out? I know what I take out, but what would you take out? Uh, really, really good practice for you to go through it again and to think about it. Um, uh, try that, okay? But but you've got some lovely arguments in there, so we're going do, doing really well. Well done. So four more complaint. You've got the absolutely greetings, right? Right, and says to complain about the poor service your company's offered me. Although your company, so we don't need to re re repeat your company and your company. So when you read it through at the end, always take a little bit of time to edit. Yeah, yeah. So don't repeat that. Although your director promised me. Uh, you, and past simple there. You don't need past perfect and uh, present perfect. Perfect. Past simple. You have highly skilled employees with years of experience in handling electronics and other delicate glass fern glass furniture. Your staff failed. So past past simple again. It's finished to transport my items uh, intact. Yeah. So they broke basically last Sunday. Capital letter. Uh, you don't need IE, just put last Sunday, comma, 25th of January. Oh. Yeah. I moved from Montreal to Toronto and I left the responsibility to transfer my belongings with you. Yeah, absolutely. I was really disappointed when I opened the packages on my 70 inch. Uh, the uh, package seems is a bit smaller. The box is, the box containing maybe my uh, Samsung Capital. TV and Apple MacBook, it's a brand name, so capital. Uh, as they were both, they have got broken screens. Ah, oh, okay, <clears throat> they've they both got broken screens. Okay, you're right, sorry. There are, there are a few other. Check out the difference between few and a few, they're not the same. Uh, other glass items which were shattered into pieces, even though I mentioned take extra care. Good. I believe you should reimburse and replace all the above mentioned items broken by your employees, or else I would be forced. Um, or else it's a bit aggressive, or else, yeah, use otherwise. Otherwise, I will be rather than would, I will be. Uh, I'd go, I will be obliged. It is just slightly more polite, just in case you have a letter of complaint again to write in your exam, to, for, to be obliged to file a police report against you. Uh, I wouldn't use therefore, I'd just go moving forward, I think it's lovely, moving forward, I suggest you reinforce your packages, extra cushions, particularly, keep going, if they are sensitive items like laptops. I, um, I believe you will. Okay, maybe I trust you will. Trust is, shows a little bit more obligation. I trust you will take the necessary action so such accidents are not repeated. Good, I really like that letter, lovely. Just a few little things there to watch out for, but otherwise very, very good, Prakash, good work. 